16 divided by 8 is just 2. And here we have 32 divided by 4 square. 4 square is 16. And 62 divided by 16 gives us 2. So 2 divided by 2 which equals 1. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, first we have to do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication or division, and finally addition or subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. And the same applies to addition and subtraction. In this expression, we have three divisions and one exponent. According to the PEMDAS, first we have to do this exponent. Then this division, then this division, and finally this division. If you do this division before uh, this exponent, it is wrong. And after this exponent, we have to do this division, then this division. If you do this division before this division, it is wrong. Okay? So first, this exponent. 4 square gives us 16. So we have 60 divided by 8, divided by 32, and divided by 16. Now we have three divisions. And when we have more than one division in an expression, we have to work from left to right. Okay? So first, this division, 16 divided by 8, gives us 2. So 2 divided by 32, divided by 16. No, we have to do this division 2 divided by 32 we can write 2 over 32 and divided by 16 okay no 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 and 32 divided by 2 gives us 16 so we have 1 over 16 1 over 16 times uh, excuse me, divided by 16. No, according to the KCF rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We can write keep the first fraction, 1 over 16, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction, 1 over 16. So we have 1 over 16 times 1 over 16 which equals 1 over 16 times 16, which equals 256. And this is our final answer to this problem. The correct answer is 1 over 256.